Okay, welcome back. As we mentioned, we have Colette Carlson. She's actually a speaker buddy of mine here in San Diego. And I wanted her to come and see us because we're talking about home economics. This is the Momstown show all about the business of making money from home. And we did a whole show on writing this past week. And we're now going to be talking about speaking because if you have a product or a service, it's getting out there and speaking to associations or women's groups or even at a networking meeting can really boost your profile. And what is the number one thing is getting comfortable in front of other people. And I know we as moms don't, hi Colette. Hi. <laughs> I just gotta keep talking. We as, I'm used to you. <laughs> yeah, good, good. We're speakers, you get, ever get 3,500 speakers in one room? Can you imagine how much banter there is? But anyway, um, as moms, sometimes we're a little bashful about promoting ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna cover so many things. So get out a pencil and paper if you can, and take some notes. Um, go to our website and sign up for a newsletter because we will also be posting some of the tips that we naturally have throughout this conversation and that Colette is going to provide us toward the end of the show. So first off, um, you have been a professional speaker for how long? Technically, I launched six and a half years ago, although I spoke prior to that. Okay, but how did you, why did you start? Why did you get into the speaking business? Well, you know, if I really have to answer that, it goes way back. I wanted to be a teacher growing up, but my mother was a teacher on the south side of Chicago, and she was like, you're not going to be a teacher. She wanted us in the business world. And oh. so it took me a long time to eventually get back to doing what I came here to do. And I sort of fell into it because I went to work for national sales speakers, Tom Hopkins oh, and Brian yeah. Tracy. Absolutely. So I sort of saw how a public program gets created and how they're, you know, I was ever doing everything from selling their product back a room to putting the butts in the chairs. I would move to a new city for eight weeks and pre-sell their seminar. Wow. And so it really, I would go into offices and deliver, you know, 45 minute dog and pony shows. But this was like... 15, 20, 20 years ago, 20 years ago 20 before years. you had I'm children. <laughs> No, yeah. sweetheart. Before children. Uh. Before children. So it, it, that's when I went, wow, this is it. This is what I've come to do, and I can do that. So I sort of looked at ways to take next steps. And so after I worked for Hopkins and Tracy, what I did was I thought, wow, this is cool, but I want to be able to speak to corporations. Sure. Because you need to keep in mind there's so many different business models for a speaker. And we can talk about some we of those. We should, because, okay. you know, she might... You know, you might think out there, that, gosh, I don't want to be traveling a lot, but no need to if that's not your model. Okay, let's let, tell me more of your story, and then we'll get into that. See, okay, I just told you there's a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> so I wanted to get into corporations as well. So I thought, well, I don't really have corporate background. I mean, I always work for small businesses and and smaller companies. So I thought I got to figure out a way to get into that. So I became a national sales trainer for a division of U.S. West, which back then was one of the seven baby bells. Yes, it was. So now I'm traveling the country, delivering three week initial sales training courses, teaching people how to sell yellow pages. So I sort of got that little nugget. Now, next steps. I had every intention of launching my professional speaking business at that time. Um, started to go and attend National Speakers Association meetings, which I personally, personally believe are key. Uh, attend as a guest. You know, people say to me, but I'm not a speaker yet. Who cares? Oh. It's just like, you know, if you go to a yeah. science association, they're not going to make you stand up and give the periodical tables, okay? Right. I mean, just show up because it's really through my networking and the exposure to that information that I learned so much faster and cut years off my career I by showing up. I agree. So I that's the same key. thing. It's key. Uh, so uh, I'm like, I'm going to launch. And at the same time, I launched a marriage and got pregnant on my honeymoon. <laughs> so all of a sudden, things oh. came to a screeching halt for a while. Because personally, I did not know with my business model of wanting to live on the road to deliver these keynote programs, how to do that and be a new mother at the exactly. same time. Yeah. So I shelved it for a short while. But while I shelved it, I went to all... National Speakers Association local meetings as a sure. guest. I went to every conference as a guest. I kept continuing to invest in myself. I happened to go back and get my master's in human behavior because that interested me. Okay. And not a necessity, um, but my passion. So I did all of that, and when I did decide to launch, mm -hmm. I was very educated on what it took. And thankfully, because of the power of our internet, it's a whole different ball game now. You know, you don't have to have the same type of history to create a presence online. Right. You know, you can do that through an effective website. And 
you know, know what you want to talk about and be very specific about that. And then I started. So I pretty much hung my shingle and then took next steps after that. Okay, so it's an awesome story. And as moms, you know, we don't want to leave our children when they're real young. And even when they're in middle school, when they're busy with sports and all that type of thing. So my model is working between the hours of 8 and 2.30. So 8 a.m. and 2.30, because that's when the kids are at school. That's when we tape our show. Mm -hmm. And you can build a business within your specific model. And here at Momstown, we always talk about live the life you crave. What works best for your family is the best model. Yes. Okay, so you have teenagers now. I do. Okay, so you do have some freedom a little bit. It's, you know, they're not little ones anymore. Correct. And if you really want this career to be my model of career, which means that I'm leaving to go speak. I'm usually gone at minimum of two days. I fly a day to get to the event. Yes. I speak the keynote program in the morning or afternoon, and then I spend the whole time flying home. Right. So unless I have a back-to-back -back program, I'm really only out for a couple of days. Right. Um, but then it could be two days later I'm leaving again. So, you know, it, it depends. Um, but there's other speakers I know who have chosen to niche in their community. Like and Laura they, Stack does that. Exactly. Yeah. So she does uh, the majority of her programs in Denver and has built a very strong base there. She is the go-to gal for productivity. Right. So there's so, again, so many different models. Uh, I have other friends that speak through the teleseminar business. So they're oh. sitting at home on the phone delivering quality information. Okay. So we could do webinars, teleseminars, local events and a lot of, we'll talk about when we come back because we only have about 30 seconds left in this segment. The ability to just use speaking if you're not even, there's fee and free and fee. If you're not even getting paid, there are a lot of people that are professional speakers that do a lot of showcasing, free ones, because they sell product in the back of the room. So when we come back, I do want to hear how you, you did develop your business into sure. product sales and how that can also earn you money. You know, so whatever your business is, if you can create a product around it, maybe you just go out and speak on it and sell in the, they call it back of the room sales. Mm -hmm. That can be pretty lucrative as well. So thank you. Let's uh, talk some more. We'll be right back. Go to momstown.com, check out our newsletter so you make sure to get all the tips from Colette that we'll have for you. And we'll be right back. Cool. Yeah, so it's, it's an industry.